Hi everyone. As the school year gets underway here and we're continuing in this more decentralized form of church that we're having during the pandemic, I want to talk a little bit about creating a worship space in your home. I know these days everything kind of runs together, all the days are the same, and our space doesn't really lend itself to worship because it's where we do everything. But you can create a space in your home that can draw you into worship, can remind you to spend time with God, and can have the things that will help make that happen as much as possible. So this can be either a place that you can go in your home to spend time in prayer or reading scripture or something like that, or it can be as small as a collection of your tools that you have for that purpose. In our house, we have this top shelf of this bookshelf here. So I wanna show you what is on there and invite you to consider what you might do to create your own worship space at home. We have here a few different things that we can use during the church services on Sunday mornings or whenever you watch the church services. In our house, that includes a bag of worship toys for our almost two-year-old. And that bag is from the foyer in the church building. It's one of the bags that's available during worship when we are together. You may check one of those bags out if you have a kid who could benefit from that. You might also have a worship bag with materials for um, taking notes and doodling and things like that. If you have a kid who's received one of those, I have a coloring book of my own on this shelf. And we also have here a blanket that we can lay on the floor to create a bit of space for worship and delineate that space more clearly. So those are some of the things that we have for during worship in our household. We also have a couple things that can draw us into the presence of God in a way at other times of our day or week. And so those include our copy of Telling God's Story, which is short devotions for children and families, but even Philip and I have appreciated using these. So we have our devotion book here where we'll see it and we can more easily use it. We have a children's Bible up there, although we also have our Shine Bible, which Mateo really loves. It's down lower where he can reach it. So we use that one pretty regularly too. And we have our Sunday school packet that we got in the mail where all families with children ages two to eight Two, 2 to 10, receive Sunday school materials in the mail. There's something to do weekly in here, and so having this in the same place as everything else means that we'll see it regularly and can do those activities together as a family. And then the things that it's helpful to have to um, create a space that is more welcoming and more open to God's presence. And those are things that help us kind of notice the divine around us and draw us into that. So we have this cross that was given to us by some friends. We have a candle and I also put our hymnals here, which I sometimes use as a devotion, devotional reading as well. So whatever it is in your house that helps you focus on God, helps you bring God's presence into your daily life, consider where you might put that so that you can see it and, um, and use it regularly or so that it can help create a worship space for the time of worship that we have as a congregation. Thanks.